Okay, so here we have our materials. We have our citric acid and sodium bicarbonate, which is our baking soda. We have two containers to measure the chemicals. We have the water jug um, bottle there, a beaker to mix, and we also have a thermometer. Now right here, I have my balance. Okay, for my balance, I can push the tear button. Now, when I read the instructions that are on slide 15, now you all don't need to read those right now. You're gonna watch the lab. When I read the instructions before I do anything, my hands are, I'm putting gloves on because the chemical can get on you sometimes. I have my glasses on, my sleeves are tied, um, rolled up, my hair's tied back. Those in the room can attest to all of this and so can all of you. We are going to start by measuring out the amount of chemicals that we need and placing those chemicals into this beaker. So the way that we do that first is for the citric acid, we are gonna push this tear button again, the zero. If I push zero, notice that the numbers go to zero. So it takes you back to saying, it, it doesn't even notice that something is on the balance. Then I'm going to take the citric acid chemical, okay? And I'm going to be measuring out 19.21 grams. Now, for those of you who did complete the first problems, you should have gotten the number 19.21 for the amount of grams of citric acid that 0.1 moles is. So I'm going to measure a lot of chunks in here. 19.21 grams, exactly. Because right now we're trying to do an experiment that is pre, oh my God, I'm so close. There, Nine, oh. 19.21, okay. Now I'm gonna pour it into this beaker right here. All right, great. And then I'm going to push the tear, the zero button. It goes back to zero. I'm going to add this weigh boat. This is the container that I can use to measure my chemicals. I'm gonna push zero again. And now I'm going to take my sodium bicarbonate, which is my baking soda. And according to the calculations, it is 25 0.20 grams of baking soda. I'm gonna get the rock pieces uh, separated a bit. Okay, there we go. So I need 25.20 grams. There we go. They are both white powders. I would say that the citric acid, it has a little bit more of like a salt consistency, like sugar consistency. And the baking soda, this one, the sodium, 25.2, oh, um, it has more of like a powdered sugar consistency. So one's like granular and one is like a fine powder. You need 25.20, too much. So close. Too much. Welcome to measuring. There we go, 25.20. Okay, I'm gonna add them to the speaker. So now both chemicals are being added to the speaker. Turn off my all right, so now what I'd like you to do is you are going to write down the observations of what you see in the speaker. There's two chemicals. Is anything happening? What color are them? Go to your class pick and go to procedure step number three, where it says write down your observations of this mixture. This is on slide 15. So go to your class kick and go ahead and write those observations down. What do you see? And then once you're done writing those observations down, come on back. Okay. 
Give you about 10 more seconds to write those observations down in step three on page 15. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay. So here is what's next. We are going to take a graduated cylinder. This is a graduated cylinder. Okay. And we are going to measure water into our graduated cylinder. Here's our water. It is called deionized water. Deionized water meaning that there are no more ions in that water, and that's what we want. Okay, we are going to take this. You guys can see the 10 line right there, the top line. I'm gonna add water into it until I get to the 10 line. Now, I want what is called the meniscus, the curve. Let's see how close I got. Oh, that's pretty close of the bottom of the water to be exactly on that line. So it is just below, so I'm gonna add a little bit more water. And now I'm exactly at 10 milliliters, okay? So there's this curve in the bottom of the water. Can you guys see that curve kind of right there? It's a curve in the water and you want that bottom of that curve to be at the 10. So what I am going to do in a moment is I'm gonna pour that 10 milliliters of water into into this mixture. I also have a thermometer. Okay, so as of right now, you can see that the thermometer, it's like a little above 20. So here's your 20. Okay, so you're gonna also be able to watch how the temperature of this solution changes. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna add the water. It says, add it. And then it says to mix. It's kind of difficult to mix. It feels kind of like sludgy. And you're gonna mix that up, mix that up. We look at our thermometer. Look at where it is now. It was at tw above 20 and now it's below 15. Our bubbles are moving up our container and then they pop back down. So there's a lot of bubbling happening. Okay. Temperature wise, the thermometer says that it is below 15 and I hold the beaker and it, it's, it is chilly. You would probably put something this cold on you if you had an injury. Um, so go ahead and go to your class kick step seven and write down the observations of what you're seeing happening in this beaker right now. It is rising. Okay, so you're writing down, what do you see? What temperature am I telling you I'm feeling? It's very cold. Oh, and watch, I can make those bubbles pop just back down by mixing it up. The temperature as of right now, it's at like about 13, 12 degrees. So now, come on back five seconds. I'm gonna add another set of 10 milliliters of water to it. So five, four, three, two, one. So here's another 10 milliliters of water that I've measured that I'm going to add. And then we're gonna watch what happens and mix it up again. Look at my thermometer. It's still bubbling like crazy. So go ahead and watch it for about a minute. And then I'm gonna have you go onto your class kick after a minute passes of you watching these bubbles. And under step nine, you are gonna write down, we haven't done nine yet. Right? Under step nine, you are gonna write your observations. So notice I'll give you the top screen. Lots of bubbles going on in there. Thermometers at about 13, 12, 13. If I mix it up, it is chilly. It is very chilly. When I mix it, the bubbles lower. When I don't mix it, 
you watch the height of it rise a little bit. If I show you the side with the lines, right? I'm not refilling the container right now, but you can see that the height of what is inside the beaker is rising up. If I mix it, it goes back down. If I let it sit, it rises up. All right, go ahead and go to number 11. Number 11, wait, have we added more water? No, add another water. Add another 10. Then we'll write our observations in number 11. So we waited one to two minutes. Now I add another 10 milliliters of water. I'll mix it again. And then you guys will make your observations again. So I mix again. What's the temperature now? Great question. The temperature now is, it's around 12 and a half. So after that first like spike down, it seemed to kind of level off, but it's, it's keeping it's cold. Like it is chilly. You can see it's still bubbling. So, I mean, we put powders in there. We've been adding water, adding water. You still see the bubbles. So this is for number 11 on class kick. Step 11. Write down your observations of this mixture and the temperature. It is still bubbling. Yes, number nine was from before, before I added that last water set. And then it says to just place the beaker on the table until there's no further observable reaction. Describe the remaining liquid and explain, explain, explain the results of your remaining liquid. So right now we just gotta kinda have to let it just go. What does it's still bubbling mean? It's reacting. So have we used up all the chemicals yet? No, right? So it's still reacting. The chemicals that we put in here was the perfect amount of chemicals to react, but every reaction takes a different amount of time. This is continuously bubbling right now. If we look really close at, let's see the bottom, it's still pretty sludgy. I'm gonna keep mixing, keep mixing. And if we let this settle down, if we continue to let this reaction just bubble, 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 what we would end up seeing is the bubbles going away and a clear solution being left. So right now it's not very clear because you got so many bubbles, just like a carbonated drink, right? When you shake up a carbonated drink, you shape up, shake up soap and all the bubbles appear. That's what's happening here. Um, but when it all gets to settle, it's all gonna become clear. So for number 13 on class kick, you can say, Miss Mardoyan says clear, because I think we're gonna be here a while if we let this continuously react. So we won't do that. I'll leave it so you can keep watching it, but we won't. I'll let you move on to the next piece here. Which I will show you. So when you are done, when you are done writing down your observations, you are going to do the following. I'll write it in the chat. 